It's been a torrid week for banking stocks as cracks appear in the entire global lending sector. It all started off earlier this week uh, with a company that many on this side of the Atlantic really didn't know about called Silvergate. I want to start off, though, first of all, with how the FTSE 350 banking index has opened this morning because there have been some big declines. You can see clearly here on this daily chart the drop that we've seen, the big gap that's opened up. We're currently down at four and three quarter percent in terms of a loss. It's at this line of support that was established back on the 19th uh, of January. And in fact, it was a line of resistance as well on the 11th of February 2022. So it is a significant level of support. Uh, and we've seen many of the UK banking stocks on the way down. This is Barclays showing you some big losses we've got here, taking us back to levels not seen since mid-December last year. So wiping off early yearly gains for the stock. Same with Lloyd's. Big drop there. We're off the lows there at the moment, down at 